The Amazon River Earth's most vital waterway is now choking on plastic. Stretching over 4,000 miles, it's become a silent carrier of bottles, bags, and microplastics that threaten its wildlife and indigenous communities. In this video, we uncover the scale of plastic pollution in the Amazon. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more global insights, and let's explore this urgent issue. 1. The mighty Amazon, a river under threat. The Amazon River, the largest by volume and second longest, flows through South America's heart. Spanning over 6,400 kilometers, it nourishes rainforests, wildlife, and millions of human lives. Once untouched by modern waste, the Amazon now faces a growing burden of plastic pollution. As development expands, so do roads, cities, industries, and the plastic footprint along the river. Remote areas now receive packaged goods, creating plastic waste with no disposal solutions. The river, once pristine and legendary, now reflects the global crisis of modern consumption. 2. Plastic sources along the Amazon. Plastic in the Amazon does not appear by accident. It is the product of human expansion and neglect. Growing cities like Manaus and Iquitos generate large amounts of plastic with limited waste systems. Markets, tourism, and consumer goods have brought plastic packaging deep into the rainforest. Lack of recycling, poor garbage collection, and river dumping are common waste practices nearby. Even remote villages receive plastic products, but lack means to dispose of or recycle them safely. Plastic used in daily life bottles, wrappers, bags often ends up tossed into nearby waterways. 3. Impact on Amazonian Wildlife The Amazon is home to unmatched biodiversity, its creatures now face new threats from plastic waste. Fish consume plastic fragments, mistaking them for prey, suffering blockages and toxic exposure. River dolphins and caimans ingest plastic or become entangled in fishing lines and plastic debris. Birds feeding near the river collect plastic bits and unknowingly pass them to their chicks. Endangered turtles eat floating plastic bags, which resemble jellyfish, leading to fatal digestion. Microplastics settle in sediments, disrupting the base of the food web that sustains larger life. 4. Indigenous Communities at Risk Indigenous tribes living along the Amazon have relied on the river for generations to survive. They drink its waters, fish its streams, and use it for cooking, bathing, and sacred rituals. Plastic pollution now compromises these ancient relationships between humans and river. Contaminated water causes skin rashes, gastrointestinal illness, and long-term health problems. Fish populations decline not just from overfishing, but from plastic-related toxicity and deaths. Traditional diets are being replaced by packaged goods wrapped in unrecyclable plastic. Plastic trash litters previously untouched territories, spoiling landscapes and cultural practices. 5. Plastics path through the rainforest. The Amazon is fed by over 1,100 tributaries, each a potential gateway for plastic infiltration. Plastic enters through rivers like the Madeira, Tapajos, and Purus, then flows into the main stem. Rainstorms and floods wash garbage from landfills, towns, and roads directly into waterways. Plastic travels for hundreds of kilometers, breaking down but never fully disappearing. It clogs roots, litters banks, and becomes microplastic embedded in plants and aquatic soil. Floating debris forms mats that block sunlight and oxygen from reaching river life beneath. As the river branches out, it spreads pollution across a basin the size of the continental United States. 6. Hidden plastic in the food chain. Plastic in the Amazon River does not just pollute the water, it enters the very food people eat. Microplastics are ingested by fish and crustaceans that feed millions across South America. These particles contain harmful additives, often absorbed from surrounding chemical waste. Over time, plastic builds up in animals and eventually in the bodies of those who eat them. Communities that rely on fish as protein now risk ingesting unknown levels of microplastic daily. Plastic waste also contaminates the tools of fishing nets, boats, hooks, and lines degrade too. Burning plastic waste to dispose of it releases toxic fumes, which settle into soil and crops. 7. Tourism and its trash. Tourism in the Amazon brings money, but also modern convenience and with it plastic garbage. Visitors use plastic bottles, snack wrappers, and hygiene products, 
often left behind carelessly. Tour operators sometimes fail to carry out proper waste disposal, prioritizing comfort over care. Luxury jungle lodges offer single-use products in regions where trash removal is non-existent. Souvenirs and packaged items reach villages that never needed them before tourism grew. Without systems in place, tourism leaves a footprint that lasts far beyond the traveler's stay. Plastic gets buried, burned, or tossed into rivers, none of which prevent long-term harm. Educational tourism could help if visitors learn to reduce their plastic and support green policy. 8. Industry's Expanding Role Mining, agriculture, and oil industries have rapidly increased their footprint along the Amazon. With them come machines, plastics, packaging, fuel containers, and synthetic supplies. Work camps leave plastic waste behind with no infrastructure to remove or recycle it. Agricultural packaging, fertilizer bags, and irrigation plastics litter deforested landscapes. Oil and gas development brings non-biodegradable waste to places once untouched by humans. Few of these industries take full responsibility for the plastic waste they introduce. Weak regulations and remote locations make enforcement difficult and accountability rare. Industrial plastic mixes with community waste, compounding the problem exponentially. 9. The Amazon's Global Significance The Amazon River is not just a regional concern, it affects the climate and health of the entire Earth. Its forest absorbs carbon dioxide, releases oxygen, and regulates global rainfall patterns. Plastic waste in the river degrades this vital function, disrupting both local and global ecosystems. When the Amazon suffers, the planet suffers from weather shifts to food chain contamination. Microplastics are now found in rainwater, snow, and even deep jungle sediments in the region. This is not a local issue, it is a planetary signal that our waste reaches even the wildest frontiers. The Amazon's plastic burden reveals how far pollution travels and how deeply it embeds itself. The river is a mirror of modern life. It reflects what we consume, discard, and ignore. 10. A river's cry for change. The Amazon River is sending a clear message it cannot bear the weight of modern waste alone. Plastic, once hailed as revolutionary, has become a poison in one of Earth's most vital lifelines. This burden was not created in one day, and it will not be solved by one group or one policy. Change must come from industry, government, travelers, scientists, and local communities alike. Every plastic item avoided is one less piece floating through sacred waters or trapped in trees. Solutions must be scalable, fair, and rooted in respect for both nature and indigenous wisdom. We need better packaging, stricter laws, cleanup initiatives, and education at every level. Children growing up along the Amazon deserve a future with more fish than plastic waste. The Amazon sustains life far beyond South America, but plastic waste is weakening its lifeblood. From remote villages to major cities, change must start now. Don't forget to like this video if you believe the Amazon must be protected. Subscribe for more environmental stories and share it to raise awareness. Because saving the Amazon's future means saving our own.